There I was, staring back at the reflection in the mirror, but my vision was blurred. Because all I could see, all I could hear, were fragments of memories as they roared. Why can't you be more like your sister? Why can't you be smarter? How do I explain it all started with a man I call Father? He was supposed to protect me from the world, but it was his words that first made my self-esteem to shatter. Then like vultures seeing a vulnerable prey, everyone else came for a piece of me, because they all had something to say. Why is your teeth not white? Does your eye glance mean you cannot see at night? Why are you so black like charcoal? Why are you so fair? Are you colorless albino? Those questions! Each passed through my eardrums like hot coals, then talked at the fabrics of my heart and soul, tearing them apart till pain flushed through my body from head to toe as I stared at the ones I could neither call friend nor foe. No, not their faces, but their shoelaces as I bent my head in shame, shame of being me. Not all came with direct aggression though, some came like sarcastic jokes, but it didn't mean they still didn't hurt like hot coals kissing soft skin. You are too tall, it's good Sha, for sports like basketball, but you look like a giant, <laughs> modern day Goliath. And they would roar with laughter, and I would laugh with them too, to cover up my embarrassment and the tears threatening to fall in torrents. My life was a joke. You are too short. It's more beans, Joe. And they would roar with laughter. And I would laugh with them too, to cover up my embarrassment and the tears threatening to fall in torrents. My life was a joke. You're very skinny. I can see your skeleton. What if the breeze blows you away? Again, they would roar with laughter. And I would laugh with them too. To cover up my embarrassment. And the tears threatening to fall in torrents. My life was a joke. Oh my goodness, you're turning into an elephant if you keep eating all the time. Yet, I had barely eaten all day, and my tummy grumbled, begging for food, even crumbs. But I said no. We are watching our weight now. And that was how I ended up with Orsa. So I grew up ashamed of my body, ashamed of my deep husky voice that should belong to a man. So everyone thought I was naturally quiet. Oh, if only they knew the thousands of things I wanted to say, the myriads of stories I had to tell, but they were all stuck in my head. Never, never to cross my lips, because if I did, I was sure to hear. Come on, you speak like a lady. <sighs> mirror, mirror on the wall. What's the solution for us all? Then I remembered my grandma used to say, No one throws mud more than a pig, or ridicules more than an insecure person desperate to feel big. And no one can make you feel ashamed without your permission. Their words only have power over you, as long as you pay them attention. Wise grandma, wise grandma. So once again, I look in the mirror. And this time, my vision is crystal clear. I am perfect. And I say it without fear, because confidence is the new garment that I wear.